We're pretty much close to the end of the season. Uh, Friday of the weekend. It was definitely worth of, it. Was I think 26 and 27. So we're expecting just three people today, and then we're expecting um, uh, the Kawartha Club. Some of them are coming tomorrow, I'm told. And three more people. So uh, yeah, we're slowing her down. Uh, we reopen in the spring again, and uh, I figure probably around May 2-4 is uh, when we, we begin our first bookings, I would imagine. Um, stay tuned for the website. We're going to get the website up. It may even be up by the time I put the video out, which could be kind of nice. So we'll have our website, um, you know, a photo gallery, videos, articles, news, um, place to buy the books, the Rockhound series, uh, a little bit of merch. Uh, I've been saying that for a while, but yeah, we're going to have some merch going on. Uh, maybe even some Oracle cards or something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, in time, we'll also be selling stuff in terms of crystals, but we're not at that point. Um, but when it when it does come, it comes, right? So stay tuned. Look at this. Nothing, eh? That's just a huge lump of calcite. We're trying to extend the length of Hubbard's Hole, and this is in our way. It's quite a big piece. Oh. Oh my goodness. Getting there. Oh. Oh, Mark. There it goes, man. Ooh. Ouch. Hey, man, I wonder if it uh, took out the underneath of that bridge. It's broken to pieces, too. Yeah, good job, man. Makes it easier digging. Yeah, yeah. There's the extension where Mark's standing, the extension of Hubbard's Hole. And I'm caving in the land bridge so you can see all the fresh dirt down below. More than anything else, this is what says Bancroft to me. There it is. This is a scene you're not going to see elsewhere in the world. This is pretty much the full colors of their finest. Spectators, participants, who knows, man. Yeah, these are the, uh, this is the end. This is the end of where the uh, Endura finishes. Here he is, the winner. man he's, he's come back mr. Hubbard's he's, he's now a famous rock hound on the dark star property we've named various fishers after him and he has just found another incredible tight nights right like look at that nice little cluster so that's at the far end and I'm digging here at this end and I am hoping under supervision of my two supervisors to uh, to lengthen this at least as far as the path and then um, this has given up great great appetite so I'm kind of working on that to see what uh, as soon as I hit the appetites I'm stopping and we'll leave it for diggers at that as point. supervisor I want more work and less video please. Seriously? Yes. Please. I'm getting tired my my, my hips stuff. are hurting and seriously you're making me work more. Absolutely. So guys this is what they call um, indentured labor. <laughs> um, I'm basically being forced against my will to dig holes out in the middle of nowhere, but it's for a good cause. It's for rock hounds. So Mark's setting up the the, uh, the pulley system here, the block and tackle. We're at the tremolite spot. We got a big, big boulder. We're gonna move. Hi there. He looks like he's escaped the spanking. He still has a smile on his face. Well, that's why. He's <laughs> you think so? <laughs> uh, there's Aaron there. So, what's your name again? 
Ashton. Ashton. Oh. Yes, okay, cool. Oh. No, no. Man, this block and tackle. Thank you so much, Brian. Brian is a, a safety safety man for this kind of thing. Cranes and... Oh. Whoa. You all right? Are you okay? You all right? Look at that gorgeous baby right there. Oh. Oh, yeah. But there's like, some big like ones here. There's all over here. It's like, you don't want to destroy that. It's too beautiful. That is just very gorgeous. cool, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, people who train on that would be sacrilege. Unless you cut a piece off and you expose yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no sense banging into this. Because well, I mean, if someone... Oh. Yeah, it's... Well, it opens up a whole bunch of new avenues of stuff we can do, you know? There should be drop-offs in the soil. You're like digging. I need some help. I'm going away with this, man. It's starting to look like a tight night kind of thing along the walls. The walls always tell us what we've got coming, right? Yeah, good, it? yeah it certainly does. It certainly does, man. And there we go. we got Trent and Jason Hubbard of AKA Famous Hubbard Hall fame. Um, as I say, they've got some good stuff for it. What are you thinking, Mark? Like it's it's just roughing up now, right? It's getting mineralizy. But this yeah, it's good though. Eh? It's yeah. How it starts, right? it yeah. Good. So it's, I mean, there's an appetite. Oh, that's the first one I've got. <laughs> there we go. The typical. I'll I'll beep up. I don't know your second name, but okay. Really, where, where'd you find that? Uh, way back. Oh, that's that was at the swamp, eh? Yeah. What we call the swamp. That's yeah. That's a sign of things to come. What do you got, brother? Something you're gonna like. Ooh. Look at this soap bar. Look how pink it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can't go too much closer with it, or it goes out of focus. That's a beautiful feldspar, man. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. I'll try to go a little closer, see what happens. Yeah, spin around a bit, there, brother. Yep. That's a very nice feldspar. And then there's that quartz, that greasy feeling quartz that I'm finding on the appetites. Oh, well. Yeah. Now we're finding it on the little balls here. That's neat, man. Exact same shape, too, yeah. that comes on the appetites. Okay. Kind of weird. That is nice, man. Very nice. Appetite You're right. It's kind of ugly, but I'm just... Well, you know how I am about stuff. Interest, yeah, man. yeah. I wouldn't put that in my cabinet or anything. No, no I get it. So we filled in, as that you can see. That's Liz down there. She's at the far end of the tight night hall. Uh, Mark and I, more so Mark than anyone, filled all this this Hubbard's hole in uh, in the center. It was getting too deep, and it was it was what it was a bottom bottoming. I already swept the floor. Yeah, She's done, right? yeah. I was basically right on top of the calcite. But um, anyway, uh, we're still it's still yielding tight night as it goes that way, and we get to see what's going on going this way. And here comes Lisa, and we're heading back to the swamp. Um, because uh, we're going to work the cave fisher area. I think there's a lot of potential there. And um, maybe even rare earths. What you find there, Audrey? Little appetite. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very nice. Audrey is in it. And, oh, and there's some more up there. Lovely. Audrey's in an extremely tight spot. Doesn't seem to have any problem with it. Most people would. Well done, Audrey. So, uh, Gordon and company have been digging up near Fisher City, and I, they're into the feldspar, and that's the stuff I like. And uh, this is our man, P uh, Pierre? Pierre, yeah. Pierre, yeah. He's got some nice stuff, uh, you know, feldspar, um, that kind of thing. We got Gordon, who's got just the king feldspar specimen. Oh. That I am truly... Truly jealous of Gordon. <laughs> and look, wet dream. Look, yeah, ex that's exactly <laughs> it, right? And here we go. Patrick's got some real nice stuff. Some of, I mean, look at that for a. That's not an appetite. That's that's a feldspar, right? So yeah, there's I some nice so. stuff coming from uh, from Fisher City. Good yeah, good finds, Patrick. Yeah, Gordon and Pierre, man. Thank you, thank you very much.
Oh, I, I get it. I'm, I'm not good stand up late either. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mark, where's really your tight back that you found that cluster? I'm all buried in the, uh, in the bucket. Oh, yeah. Mark found some beautiful, beautiful tight mics. Nice. Yep. Digging down and it just. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So. Nice. That's amazing. I'll clean up nice. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice. Good in here. Gorgeous. You would have guessed, eh? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Now, looking at the back of it. Lots and lots of little appetites. What's that telling you, people who've come here before? Little tiny appetites tell you it is a high temperature fissure. And in the high temperature fissure, we're also gonna find pyroxenite and potentially titanite as well. So again, you can just tell by the little appetites what kind of fissure we're dealing with. So we're way bigger, well, that's a different story. We're looking at the amphiboles and uh, that kind of thing.